Hi everyone, let's learn how to schedule in PCC EHR in the appointment book. After I log into PCC EHR, I can jump to the appointment book at any time in the file menu. In the upper left panel, I've got my tools for scheduling a patient. I'm going to click in the patient name search field to find a patient. By the way, there's lots of ways to search. I could put their phone number in here if I want to. I'm just going to search by name. I see all matching patients with some details so I can be sure and get the right patient. Uh, Sarah Shrum. Great, I've got the patient. And in the schedule appointment panel up here, I can see the details about the appointment I'm creating right now, along with the patient's PCP. I can pick a visit reason, which has a default time length for the provider. I can change that time length if I need to. And now, to find an open time. Joan, who sits next to me, is on the phone scheduling too. I can see she's holding a time slot right now as she talks to a family. I'm scheduling a sick visit for today, Monday, so I'm going to put it right here. The bubble on my screen clearly shows how much time this visit will fill up. Uh, and Joan's going to see that I'm holding this slot just like I can see the slot she's holding. If this patient needs extra time or if it's a short visit for some reason, I can change it on the fly. And the bubble will change size. Okay, I'll confirm the appointment with them on the phone. Um, all the details are up here in the left-hand panel. We'll see Sarah at 8.30 with Dr. Crusher. Be sure and bring your insurance card. Optionally, I could add an internal appointment note and click Save to Schedule. If I need to reschedule that appointment or review something else for the patient, I can do that right down here. In fact, I can click on any slot to get details for appointments in that slot down here in the lower left panel. While reviewing appointment details, I can open the patient's chart or remove the appointment, which means cancel it, delete it, mark it as missed. I can reschedule the appointment and pick a new time, or I can just edit an appointment to update the visit reason length or the internal appointment notes. By the way, as soon as that appointment is scheduled, mom and dad can see it in the patient portal account so they can check their upcoming appointments anytime. Anyone at my practice can see the appointment here on the appointment book, and if someone's reviewing the patient's chart, the appointment history component shows me all their appointments and lets me remove, reschedule, or edit the appointment right from the chart. Okay, let's do a well visit. I was on the phone with mom just a few minutes ago, so I can just use this pull-down menu to pick from recent patients I've worked with. There's Lily. I'm scheduling her 12-year well visit, I could just put in a shortcut right here to grab the age-appropriate visit reason. Now when should I schedule this well visit? I can actually click on this pull-down menu and pick their next physical due date. Great, it's automatically calculated for me. I select it and it jumps right to that part of the calendar for me. Another way to find time is to pick from one of these handy month shortcuts. By the way, I don't actually have to click. I can just type in 6M for six months. And PCC EHR will jump me right there. I can plug in a time, too, or pick a shortcut to navigate directly to part of the day. Okay, so it's great to quickly type in some shortcuts and jump to the part of the calendar I need. But I also like to use these tools up here at the top of my window. I can click Today to jump back to Today. And you see these arrows? They let me just flip my calendar page by page, week by week. As I mentioned, right on the schedule, I can see this provider's visit types. It's part of their scheduling template. When they want sick visits, when they want physicals, and when they want rechecks and consults. I can click the calendar icon and get a calendar window. White days are days my provider is working. I'll jump right to the date I need. Now we're selecting Wednesday, June 26th. However, I like to navigate the appointment book. The next step is to click and claim a slot and click Save to schedule. By the way, if the appointment won't fit, like over here, I'll see this little message. Your practice can configure who is allowed to force appointments in if you want to lock that down. The appointment book is a window, right? You could have it on a second monitor at your front desk. But would you like the appointment book window to open up for you as soon as you log in? You can turn that on or off here in the My Account tool. By checking this checkbox, 
you can make the appointment book open up as soon as you sign in in the morning. I like to keep the appointment book open while I do other things in PCCEHR. In one window, I can work on phone notes or messages, and I can switch back and forth between my windows by using Alt-Tab on my keyboard or Command-Tilde for you Macintosh users. Next up, when my practice schedules, we like to review the patient's appointment history, check when their last physical was, or update their insurance information and their phone number. You can see your practice's customizable patient details ribbon by clicking here on the Details button. This screen will tell me everything I need to know while I'm scheduling. In fact, your practice might decide to have this patient details protocol pop up whenever you find a patient. So you may see this screen automatically before you schedule. Next, if I go to schedule a patient, say, with a billing problem, PCC EHR warns me that they may need to talk to the billing office before I schedule them. My practice set up this custom alert, and we can set reminders up for any reason, not just a billing issue. As we mentioned earlier, I can pick the doctor or other provider up here with these pull-down menus, and even switch providers on the fly while scheduling. See if someone else is available. But what if it doesn't matter who the patient sees? Maybe I want to see all the providers. I'll just click the Day button in the upper right corner, and I'll see a single day's schedule. This is Monday, February 4th, for all providers. You can see across the top, uh, there's Dr. Crusher's schedule over here on this day, and Dr. Casey, and Dr. Jones, and so forth. Now I could page through my calendar day by day and pick the next open sick time with any doctor. So what if Dr. Crusher suddenly has a meeting? I can put a block in here on the Add Block tab. The appointment book shows my block right on the schedule, and I can see any conflicts, so I could call and reschedule that patient. And to review how easy it is to reschedule or make other changes, I can click on any appointment, see the details, and down here I can click to make changes. I'll click Reschedule, pick a different time, and save. I've moved Kylie Kepner's visit to Tuesday. Okay, now you know how to schedule. Uh, we zipped through a lot of features really quickly there. Go try out scheduling for yourself. Use a test patient. Uh, if you want a written version of this video, more details and descriptions, you can find that on learn.pcc.com. And if your practice is just getting started with the appointment book, your client advocate can help train your office and answer any questions. Thanks for watching.